better way to show your love. When you can't be there, be there with I follow. Well, Andrew and Jason, great to finally see you. I mean, the word finally, it's taken a, a long time, but the day is here. You must be delighted, it's all done. Yeah, well, we're pleased to be here and we're keen to come to work, actually, so. Uh, yeah, it's nice to meet you. I've listened to your voice over the years, John, so delighted to meet you in person as well, so great. I know you're keen to look forward and, and not back, but you, I'm sure you've got memories of your time as good as the town supporters, if not anything else. And, and Jason, I think you actually trained the town once, didn't you? Oh, yeah, look, I was a, I was a half decent, <laughs> lazy footballer. Back in the 80s, I played for the schoolboys, Gooseby schoolboys and the county, and I got a chance to come and um, have a two week trial under Alan Buckley. Um, and one of my heroes was at the club at the time, um, Gary Bertels. And so I did uh, some training over Christmas with them. And he was, I was a big fan of his when he was a forest player. And, uh, and in a warm up exercise, I, um, I got to jump on Gary Bertels' back, and I think I probably held him a bit too tight and stayed on a bit too long. But um, yeah, I wasn't good enough as the punchline, John. Um, but uh, yeah, look, as a fan, I've been here since I was nine years old, similar to Andrew. Yeah, yeah, 40, 45 years coming coming to Blundell Park, and so uh, it's, you know, it's it's a, it's a very uh, it's a very important place for me, in, you know, in my life. And as we as we said, it's uh, it's very part of my identity, part of Jason's identity. You know, associating ourselves both with the club but also also the town, and that's uh, yeah, that, that's very that's very important. So is it surreal for both of you to be in the position you're in now, really? Not surreal. I mean, I um, you know, we've, we've done a number of things through both of our careers separately that you know that that, that would have surprised people based on our origins. I would suggest, and so you know, for me, there was a there was an opportunity to partner with Andrew and and sort of turn the turn the page on on what I think the football club needs and what we think needs doing. So um, now it's been so long coming, John, as you know, that we're just keen to get started now and start improving the club. But, I don't know if you feel surreal, but yeah, no, it doesn't feel surreal at all. I mean, it's it's sort of slowly slowly sinking, and I think it's probably the, the the right the right way to think about it, John. But uh, you know, we, we, as, as Jason said, we've been we've been on this journey for for, for eighteen months or so now, and, and so you know, the day to finally arrive, it's, uh, it's 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 good, so we can actually start the work. And what should fans expect from both you now and the club? What's what's going to be different? Well, I mean, if you look at both of our backgrounds, the thing that we uh, we, we, we both care a lot about and have, and have had some success in is building high performance cultures. So, you know, everything begins and ends with the quality of the people uh, and the values of an organisation. So for me, this will be a values-led organisation which, um, which insists on being a learning organisation that we keep improving all the time. So, you know, there's that, that's the big thing for me is about how do we put the work ethic in and the values of the organisation to be a source of real pride for the community in the town. Um, and then alongside that we bring resources and knowledge and know-how uh, and some of the practical things about, about the club as well. And are you going to be chairman? Yeah, so I'm going to be chair, I'm going to call it chair. I um, make a point of that is that I've got a, a daughter and a son and I want to make the role uh, possible for both of them in the future. So I'm going to be chair for the first three years. Um, the ambition is to, uh, as we said, is to improve the organisation. If, if I don't do that, if we don't do that collectively, um, then I'm happy to step aside to somebody else. There'll be no fight, there'll be no problem. There's plenty of other things I can be doing in my life. Um, but I should state, it's, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit of a misnomer because Andrew and I are complete partners in everything that we do. So I'm going to take the chair role, but we'll make all the decisions together. We've got very complementary complementary skills. And we're going to share responsibilities. I mean, there's a natural, there's a natural division in terms of Jason's very, very used to driving, to driving cultures in a number of different industries and businesses. I've got a background in property and finance, so again, I can bring some different skills and contacts to the table. So again, we'll, we'll be working together, but we'll also be a working board. So each, each of the board members will have real responsibility in terms of oversight of certain aspects of the club, as opposed to you know, a mates club. That's not, that's not the idea here. The, the idea here is to, is to really drive the, drive, drive, drive the, the, the organisation forward. And you're bringing a CEO in, for a little while, is, is that right? No, so what we've got to do is we're, we're going to step in now and actually assess the organisational capabilities. We had a great meeting this afternoon with the whole team here and we set out our expectations of what high performance like, is like. We've also said that we want to draw a line under the past and we want to give people the opportunity to come on the journey with us. That's an obligation on both parts. 
and we'll assess what's needed from there on in John. We want to improve the organisation, but we don't want to make any statements about whether we need a CEO today. We're personally committed in the near term to doing the work that's required, and then there'll be additional people coming to the organisation, but we're going to take some time to work out who that is. And Mark, Mark Palmer's helping us on the football side. Um, yeah, that's moment. what I meant, really. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. yes. That's the Mark's not coming in as, as, as yeah, right. to be clear. Yeah. Um, Philip Day staying on. What, what are the reasons for that? So, so I think classically in, in any, in any M&A deal, you, uh, you, 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 you lack a degree of continuity in terms of, uh, in terms of knowledge in, 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 in the transaction. In this particular case, it's a little bit unusual in that we're, 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 buying, we're buying the business without any warranties uh, from, from the seller. So again, having, having uh, Philip in place who has good knowledge of the, of the club over, over a period of time is is, is, is we think valuable. He also has um, connections and skills that, uh, that we don't have, and, and so we, you know, particularly in terms of dealing with uh, the EFL and so on. So again, we want to really, uh, really make sure that we, we, we kind of take advantage of that. Uh, is, uh, is that just a temporary thing for the, for the moment? Yeah. We'll see how it goes. We're going to see how it goes. Um, I, th I think you know, there's no there's no fixed uh, fixed time on it either either way. But certainly for the interim period, as we as we go through this handover transitional phase. Then we're delighted to have Philip uh, helping us, uh, helping us on that journey. And other board members, a couple of people from the Mariners Trust as yeah, well. Yeah, I mean, delighted. Christine Green's changing the sort of dynamic in the boardroom. You know, we want to build a diverse and, and inclusive organisation. And Christine's an incredibly talented individual, so delighted to get to know her over the last couple of months and, and be working with her. Dave Roberts is going to stick around for continuity again through the next period. Um, so, <coughs> alongside. The two of us that'll be the initial uh, board construction and then and then i think andrew mentioned we want to make it a working board which means that we're going to be delineating responsibilities and bringing new capabilities into the organization what we guarantee is this won't be a mates club this will be talent and uh, capability that can help drive the organization on so you're, so you're looking for new talent rather than new investment or would they both be yeah both, yeah, both. So, so for us um, look we we want to leave the club in a better position than it is in today. Now, this is our chapter starting. You know, we're thinking long term, so we're thinking about the next 143 years rather than the next couple of years. And within that, um, you know, we, we, we know that we've got resources, but we this will only happen if the whole club, the whole town gets behind it. And so, we, you know, we're going to welcome and we're going to look at bringing in new investors only if they share the values and like minded um, vision that is about how do we improve. The club, so it's a point of civic pride for the whole community. So we're open to bringing new investors in, but we don't need it today. We're not rushing to do it today. So over time, we'll, we'll open that conversation. Yeah, um, it seems so much to do with both off and off the field. Where are your priorities? Where do you start? I think, I think we I think we start off with with assessing assessing the assessing the organisation and, and, and really going going through in a very systematic way to to give to give the to give the organisation the opportunity to. Uh, to, to sort of grow, grow and develop. Uh, first investments we've made have been into the playing services, um, both at Blondel Park and and, and at Cheapside. Um, we're looking, I think, in the short term. Again, maybe preempting a question you might come on to in terms of stadium. And certainly, we, we see we see as a as a um, as a priority the the, the training ground and, and improving that, and, and, and because that's ultimately where the players work on a on a, on a day to day basis and, and and the management team. So we're looking to, we're looking to improve the training ground and training facilities. And, uh, and 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 then and, and move forward to basically make small individual improvements every day as much as we can um, across the across the organisation, and that's the challenge we have given to the to the team the team that's the team that's here is to is to is to join us on that journey. And you're happy with with Paul Hurst? I noticed in your statement you, there was a suggestion of a sort of long term appointment. Is that what you're aiming at? Yeah, look, we're we're. we're um... I think the thing that surprised both of us is, is, is how aligned we are from a values point of view. As we stated, that's our number one priority in who we want to work with. And Paul's got you know, his work ethic, his football knowledge, he's, as a character, I think he's a brilliant individual. So, um, yeah, we're, we're trying to find a way of, of, um, of establishing a long term relationship with Paul. How difficult has it been watching the club go into the National League when, you, when you're waiting to come in? And has that altered anything? In your ideas going forward, in terms of finances or anything like that. I mean, as a, as a fan, it's obviously shopping, and you know, we, you know, we, we, we want to be in as high league as, as a high league as we possibly can. And that, you know, I was I was fortunate enough to be down, fortunate or unfortunate enough, whichever way you look at it, to be down at Exeter City um, last last, uh, last last Tuesday evening, and it was it was a very it was a very very sad, very sad day. Um, but 
when we got into this, we, we knew that there was a possibility. Um, when, we, when we talked to Paul in January when he was appointed, you know, he, he had no illusions that it was a very, very tough task to, 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 to keep us in the league. Um, we think he's done a terrific job actually in terms of in terms of rebuilding the the spirit and the and the and the, and the work ethic of the of, and, and quality of the team. Um, but it doesn't change anything. It just means we're starting from a slightly lower base than we would like. But it's um, you know, the same the same goals and objectives remain in terms of improving the organisation, improving the communication, improving the that's making making the making the making the club a, a beacon of, of civic pride for for, for North East Lincolnshire and Grimsby. And just to build on that, I mean, for me as entrepreneurs. You have setbacks in your life and your career, and I think that the most interesting moments is you look back on your career because you learn about yourself, you learn about the people around you. So, I um, I was gutted for a couple of hours and then straight into right, let's go. What's next? How do we improve? And so for me, this is when you really learn about people. It's like we've got a challenge ahead of us, and um, it's going to take real character. And this will be the thing people look back on if we improve from this position. It'll be a moment. It'll be a turning point for the organisation. So. I'm excited about it. I allow myself a couple of minutes to be disappointed and I'm always thinking about what, what do we need to do now to get going on the task at hand. Andrew, you mentioned the new ground. How much of a priority is that for you? And, and have you been able to get some sort of time frame on that? Or, or is that just pushed a little way back to the back burner for the moment? The, I mean, the ground, the ground is, is something that we will we'll be evaluating in, in due course. Um, obviously, there are options. Um, we'll, be looking at, we'll be looking at all the options. Um, but what's important in terms of any, any ground moves is obviously a massive uh, step for any, for any club to do that. We we'll want to make sure it's sustainable for the long term and, and, and a, viable, uh, a viable solution for, for the club. You know, in the days that we're, that we're, not, we're not here, we don't want to saddle the club with debt. We don't want to, that we're, buy, we're buying, this, we're buying the, the club without any debt, uh, obviously with the exception of, of John's, uh, John's historic debt, which will be paid off over the next two or three years. But it's, for, for, us, for us, it's about evaluating, evaluating the options. The good thing is there are options. It's not just one. One choice, um, but we'll, we'll take a look at we'll take a look at the options of staying here, of of the docks, and of Freedom Street. And finally, for you both, what message would you give to the fans today? Um, let's draw a line under the past, the recent past. I'd like people to be energised, be positive. Um, we accept the challenge. I'd like them to come along on the journey. So um, I've got time for negativity now. I think it is what it is. We can't change what's gone on. So let's um, let's, let's let's come together. To, to, to do the work in hand to make this the club that we all love and we want it to be. So, a bit of positivity, we're realists, but we want positivity because, quite frankly, uh, it's needed in the world that we live in now with all the nonsense about the Super League. You know, this is a real opportunity to build something we're all proud of. So, it's going to be an interesting ride. We, um, we always get it right, but it'll be done from a point of respect and inclusion as well. So, um, yeah, let's, um, let's enjoy it. We want to hear from you. and. Um, Let's let's see how far we can improve. Yeah, I mean, we're looking we're looking for the fans' input and for the fans' ideas, and we want to we want to reconnect the club and the and the fan base in a, in, a, in a way that perhaps hasn't been done in in the recent past. And so, any ideas people have got, we you know we're all ears. We're we're we're, we're, we're listeners, um, and, we're, and we'll assess we'll assess the benefits of of everything that's put forward.